and uh, we'll see what that guess is like. Oh my gosh. It is snowing like crazy where I live right now, so I figured what better day than today to test out the Google Street View winter coverage map. Hello everyone and welcome back to the GeoGoose YouTube channel where today I'm taking on an interesting map. If you guys didn't know, there are only 23 countries in the world out of all of them that have Google coverage that have official winter coverage. And like I said, there's a big snowstorm today, so I'm going to hop into this GeoGuessr map to see if I have what it takes to determine which winter coverage country I'm in. As you can see, I haven't played this map before. It's a map created by Ekis and 156 locations. Hopefully we won't get any repeats in the video today. So without further ado, um, let's get right into this. And a quick reminder to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. We're at just about 50 subscribers now. You guys have been really supporting my videos, especially the recent ones hitting over 100 views on almost each of them. So thank you very much for the support. And if you haven't hit that button, hit it now. Um, we're going to do no moving. I'm going to give myself just, let's say one minute per round to guess where I am. Um, I feel like these are going to be sort of vibe guesses. Again, there's only 23 countries in the world that have winter coverage. So I feel like, you know, what's an extra 30 seconds or minute going to do me good on top of the minute I already have. So let's just hop right into this and let's see what round one has in store for us. I've never played this map. So let's go in and see. So round one. Okay. This is interesting. So let me see, is this low camera? I don't think this is low camera, so I don't think it's Switzerland. Reminder that I only have a minute, so I don't have a ton of time here. Um, definitely feels like Eastern-ish Europe with these red roofs, though I could be wrong. I could see this being Northern, like Finland or Sweden. Uh, I don't really know my car metas too well for this, but these red roofs, it, it sort of reminds me of something around, like, around here, Slovakia, Hungary, because they both have winter coverage. I'm going to click in Slovakia for now. It could make sense. It's pretty hilly, some forests. Um, I know winter coverage is pretty sparse there, but I feel like these houses make sense for Slovakia. I don't really know too much else. It looks to be a European style license plate. So yeah, let's guess maybe Southern Slovakia, um, somewhere down here and let's see how that goes. Oh, it's Czechia. Okay, fair enough. Similar vibe. Again, usually Czechia is a bit flatter than Slovakia. So when it comes down to the two, I got a vibe that it was around there with the red roofs and such. But, uh, you know, for such a hilly round, I'm a little surprised at Czechia. But there's obviously a lot of reg uh, regions in that country that have similar coverage. So not very upset with my guess at all. I got the Czechoslovak region, which is pretty good for me. So let's move on to the next round. Unfortunately, not exactly a correct country guess as we get a crazy round here. Look at all these goats and horses and what is going on here? Sheep? Okay. Um, we are just straight up on a farm that just says Castrol. I know Mongolia is one of the countries with winter coverage and this immediately is kind of reminding me of that. This is official Google coverage too? Barren, no trees, no nothing, just mountains. But this, this soil kind of reminds me of of like Asia somewhere as opposed to somewhere like Greenland this doesn't really feel like Greenland the cars you see don't feel like Greenland so I think Mongolia is not a bad guess in this round I'm gonna zoom right in I mean I have no idea where in Mongolia looks like this um I mean it could be way out west it could be way out east I mean it's not near any mountains could just be out the outskirts of Ulaanbaatar, and that's usually what you go for if there's Mongolia. Uh, again, I'm not a pro. I don't know Mongolia's regions, and it might not even be Mongolia at all, but we're going to leave it right there near the capital and see how good of a guess it is, and it's pretty good. The region that it is is, oh my gosh, there's just nothing here. I mean, I don't know how anyone could ever expect me to get it at this supposed restaurant, but literally in the middle of nowhere, not near any roads at all. There are just straight up no roads here. I, like, this is the closest road. It's the Eastern Highway and no roads come off of it. That is crazy that people live here. People operate farms here in the middle of nowhere. That is so fascinating. And hey, we got the country right and a pretty good region guess in the country if I do say so myself. So pretty good first two rounds here for this official winter coverage as we get a tough one. <clears throat> okay, this one I'm not sure about at all. It looked to be on like a mountain... There's a little mountain road here. Uh, it looks like it wraps around the corner. Obviously not too much snow clearing up here, but this is official Google coverage. So the Google car, well, eh, no, not Google car. You can see there's footsteps. This is clearly Google Trekker. And as for Google Trekker in winter coverage countries, I don't know. My instinct says Norway when I look at these like rocky hills with almost like a dark, dark red, brownish soil. Um, I f like my gut reaction said Northern, Northern Norway, like somewhere up here. 
um, but I really don't know like this could be so many other places though with the lack of trees complete lack of trees just rocks mountains that color soil I feel like that's not a bad guess um, I don't think I'm gonna guess anything different so we'll leave it here in northern Norway actually we might even go a bit further north and uh, we'll see what that guess is like oh my gosh I couldn't have been more wrong somehow the game rewards me with one singular point but that was just what Cuscus Cuscusco National Park Mount Cuscusco just I never expected that to be Australia not even like the peaks south of Australia like th that is fascinating I've never seen a round like this in my life this was official Google coverage from 2014 I mean, I don't know if I'm going to be able to remember what this looks like for the next time, but hey, maybe if I get this round, this exact repeat round sometime in the future, that could help me out. But holy crap, Australia, guys. Bush between Canberra and Melbourne. That is nuts. Okay, Cuscusco National Park, right on the uh, right on the border of Vic and New South Wales. So, fascinating round. There goes the good score, but I can't be mad. That is something that you just got to learn from and move on. So, And that's what this series is about, of course. Remember Road to Pro? We're trying to make sure that we can get every little niche coverage in our mind if we see it. So this round here, let's move on. Um, okay, it just says stop. Looks to be a European-style plate, though. This coverage is really, really old. Is this Gen 1? This is Gen 1, maybe 2 Google coverage. I think it's Gen 2, but it's extremely, extremely blurry. Um, white houses, this square brick tower. Guys, I'm kind of at a loss. I don't really know where this is. Um, this is... I, I'm almost certain that it's Europe somewhere. Can I see any writing there? No. There, it's weird because I'm getting some vibes. Like, these poles don't feel totally European, but... Man, these houses do. All white everywhere. Let's zoom into Europe and let's just see what we can guess. I mean, I feel like Bulgaria is not a bad shout here. I know Bulgaria has winter coverage. It's kind of hilly here, kind of foresty. I guess like maybe northern Bulgaria near some hills. These houses could make sense. Bulgarian architecture kind of reminds me sometimes of Italian. It doesn't really remind me of Italian, but it could be reasonable. But it's just Spain. I should have I should have known Spain. There were so many things, especially that uh, that sort of square tower that we saw really, really reminded me of Spain. This right here, I thought Spain immediately, but then I looked at the surroundings and thought, I, this can't be Spain, right? Like, maybe there's a Spanish sign here. Maybe these signs have uh, have something you guys can tell. Uh, this, ooh, maybe this pole could have helped me that I didn't see. I don't think you'd find that in Bulgaria, but I still don't think that I would have guessed Spain here. So that is a very interesting round as well. Where were we near? We're near uh, Trio... As a Nyon, okay, so there's some hills here. Tetas de Viana, Tetas de Viana, okay. Mm, interesting for our Spanish speakers out there. Um, but that is, uh, that is very interesting. Just east of Madrid in some, uh, I guess the Serranía de Cuenca Natural Park. Very cool. Didn't know that coverage existed in Spain. So, we've got back-to-back -back rounds where uh, we've just got some crazy rounds. A mountain where it looked like I was extremely far north in Australia and winter coverage dead in the center of Spain. So this is turning out to be a lot harder than I thought it would be. So props to this map. I'm hoping that some of these regions, like maybe in the future, if I come across them again, I'll be able to recognize them faster. This one, I think I got a bit of, bit of a better grasp on. I think this is either Finland or Sweden, especially with these red houses here and these snow poles. I know there's a difference between excuse me, the Finnish ones and the Swedish ones. These little white stripes are in different locations on each, but these are, of course, so you can see where the road is. If maybe the road's covered in snow, these stick up to give you sort of a guide along the road. Um, but the fact this is a dirt road makes me think it's more likely to be Finland. Um, as for the surroundings, tough to say, but typically Finland's road quality is worse than Sweden on average on Google Street View. So I'm going to guess somewhere interesting in Finland, just kind of Southern Finland. I mean, there's a lot of winter coverage. I don't think this is necessarily super far North. These trees look a lot like stuff I'd see in Canada. Um, and we're about on this, on the same architect or architecture latitude. And it could even be Southern Finland, you know, because I mean, trees stop happening as you get about halfway up. So I'm okay. And it was Norway. So it wasn't Finland. It was, uh, it was Norway. I guess those were Norwegian snow poles. I was wrong. Um, I guess there's a third snow pole I need to learn between Finland and Sweden and Norway, but you know, we got, it was one of these countries, one of these Scandinavian countries. So, um, I'm okay with that guess. It's only 3000. I probably could have got the country right there, but, uh, Hey, I can't be upset with that round. 
Though this map as a whole is uh, kind of difficult, you know, after the first two, they were my first two, or my closest two guesses, of course, guessing Slovakia on Czechia and guessing roughly in the right region of Mongolia, followed by guessing, like, basically on the complete opposite side of the world on this Australia guess, then guessing Bulgaria on Spain, finally getting a Nordic country when I guessed Finland on Norway, but... This is actually harder than I thought it would be. Um, I know knowing winter coverage is very, very important to become a lot better at duels and to be better if I ever play in tournaments, so I think this map is really important to continue playing, so we're going to give it another round and uh, we're going to see what we got, um, because this winter coverage stuff is uh, very interesting to me, and I, like I said, I think it could be very important, so let's take a look here. Urs Morava Polici Sir... Oh, that's... Uh, I don't know. Hungarian, maybe? Romanian? Uh, I, I think it could be Romania. Let's take a look around here. Um, Zastravka. Ooh, maybe not. Maybe it's like Slovakia. Oh, there's a flag. There's a... Oh, it's not a flag, but it's a little black tag on the on the antenna. And I rem... Oh, I remember learning that, oh, maybe a year ago when I used to play a lot more. There's a certain country that always has that. And guys, honestly, my guess right now is Slovakia. I feel like this could very well be Slovakia again. Um, the Urts Moraya Polici CR could be Czech Republic though. I mean, I know it's RC. Oh man, I really don't know. Maybe it's just a city. I'm gonna guess Czechia. The architecture seems okay. Czechia near Slovakia because I think it still could be Slovakia, and we're gonna see how we do. It was Czechia. It was northern Czechia near um, Kralitsky Kralitsky Szczeznik. I I guess I don't know. That's probably horribly butchered. I'm um, trying my best, but hey, it was Eastern Czechia, so it was Czechia, that was, uh, that was kind of a tough round, the architecture and stuff made sense, so I guess that little black tag I saw on the antennas may be a way to distinguish that it is Czechia, maybe there's some more countries that have it, that's something I'm gonna have to review as I study in the future, but, uh, not bad, got the country, uh, one of the first times in this video, I think only M uh, Mongolia was the only other time I got the country right, we got some people who were out skiing, and I saw what looks like father and son, father and daughter, something, Velke Vrbno, Ooh, interesting. Yulie Otacheni Otobusu, so bus. Uh, very similar language again. I, I mean, this again to me is either Czechia or Slovakia. And look at this. We got this same little tag. I mean, maybe it doesn't mean anything. <clears throat> maybe it's just something that's only found in Czechia or Slovakia, and that's the way to tell, but... Uh, Based on what I'm seeing here, based on the language looking pretty similar, I don't really know what Czech Poles look like, but I don't think Czechia is a ridiculous guess again. I think I'm just going to go right in. This is a pretty Czechia heavy map. Maybe they have more winter coverage than your average country, so I'm just going to guess up here sort of in the hills, and we're going to see how we do. It was literally the same place. That was literally like almost exactly the same place, right near the same mountain. Wow, okay. So it was Czechia, no wonder it looked so familiar, I was like, that looks a lot like the last round, it can't possibly be the same spot, well it was, so uh, back to back rounds in the same place in Czechia, I know this map has 156 locations, so getting those two back to back is pretty, pretty nuts, so, but hey, we got Czechia on back to back times, and as we get into, I feel like this is not meant to be on this map because this does not look like winter to me maybe this coverage this coverage must have been overwritten uh western lakes wilderness fishery part of the tasmanian wilderness world heritage area so we're gonna go on to western lakes in tasmania um so maybe maybe this is western lakes um lake gordon i mean it could be i'm gonna guess somewhere down here um well, let's take another quick look around though maybe this is western lakes uh da -da -da, mount dundas Tikawopa, what does this say? Laiwani Canal, yeah, I mean, this is just, this doesn't really look like winter coverage, although maybe it is, maybe the trees are like, maybe things are just a little drier, um, but this isn't really what I expected when I, when I hear winter coverage, so we're just gonna leave our guess where it is in the Southwest National Park and see how close we are. Oh, the, the location was right here, Liawane, or however you pronounce it, Liawane, um, Western Lakes is just right here, I guess, Great Lakes Conservation, uh, sure, sure, that makes sense. Uh, but hey, we got Tasmania. I mean, we're at the three-country streak, though that was uh, not so much winter coverage, so maybe that was overwritten. Actually, let's see when this Google coverage was taken. Maybe it was recent. And if it was, that would make a lot of sense. So let's take a look at the bottom here. Yeah, captured just this past September. So uh, can I go back in time? There's a way to do that, right? Um, mm, I'm almost sure there's a way to go back and to see more dates. 
yeah so let's go back to august 2017 and you can see there's snow this makes sense there was snow on the last time and so you maybe wouldn't think australia though i do know australian bollards um, but since then they've changed some of the signage got rid of this grid sign uh, added a couple extra bollards so uh, very interesting location um, not winter coverage anymore but still very cool that there used to be winter coverage all the way down there in tasmania our second australia location of the video so let's get into round four we're on a three country streak and again this is not definitely not winter um but this is definitely norway we can see the snow pole although it's not identical to the last time these outer lines this is definitely generation four right this is, must be brand new coverage look how look at the clear picture of the camera the colors so these outer lines here these long outer dashes are found in norway if you're trying to distinguish it from finland and sweden sweden does a similar thing but their dashes are much shorter so this to me just feels like southern norway i mean it could be kind of northern but no, I'm going to guess somewhere around here, hedge my bets, and I think we're pretty good. This used to be winter coverage as well, I'm sure, wow, it was a lot further north than I thought it was. I did not realize there were still that many trees up here. This looks so southern. Let's take a look. I mean, I guess the trees are very, very thin, and this is a, sort of a summertime coverage, but let's see more dates again. This was this past September, and if we go back to November 2018, very, very clearly winter coverage, um, and this was the most recent coverage up until this past September, so makes sense. I still would have gotten Norway, because you can see the outer dash lines, and I would have guessed in a similar region, so pretty good. Let's move on to round five. Um, last one of this seed, and okay, this is winter coverage, and this is in Canada. There's a lot of hints. So let's take a look. Quebec flag. If you guys didn't know the Quebec flag, that's it. We got arrêt, which means stop on the stop signs. We got a Petro Canada station. And this here says Lucien Senville, entrepreneur électrical, I think. So electrical entrepreneur, hexagon, which means hexagon. Um, so maybe we're in Senville, unless that's their name. Uh, no, that's probably just his last name, Lucien. Um, yeah, so I mean, this is just Quebec. And I'm pretty familiar with Quebec as a whole. Let's see... Hotel Opemiska, Opemiska, interesting. Um, I don't really know where in Quebec. Quebec is kind of kind of weird. There's a lot of interesting locations. I mean, this could very well be out here near Val d'Or, uh, but I'm just going to guess somewhere near Trois-Rivières, near Montreal, and kind of hedge my bets near Victoriaville, and I think that's a decent shout. Okay, so it was, wow, a place called Chappé. I've never seen that before. I actually didn't even know they had Google coverage on this road. So that's some news to me. Um, definitely something I'm going to keep in mind, especially for my future Canada province streaks that I plan to do. Didn't know they went that far north in Quebec, but, uh, but hey, that was a pretty good, uh, pretty good couple rounds. We got 21,000 on that one, and we went five for five on the countries in the second seed. I didn't even realize that. After only getting one country right in the first seed, we got five in a row on the second. I mean, that's pretty awesome, right? I I'm, I'm pretty, I'm pretty pleased about that. I, I think we can, you know what I think we can do? I think we can set this down to 10, 10 seconds. Let's do 10 seconds, as we always do at the end of the video. A quick 10 second, uh, no moving. I'm allowed to pan and zoom, and I got to see which country I'm in on winter coverage very, very fast. So let's just get right into it. This is my favorite thing to do at the end of the video. Nine seconds, eight, seven. I think this is Canada. I'm going to zoom right in, and I'm going to go northern Canada. And maybe, is this Churchill near Churchill, Manitoba? It was Churchill. I couldn't click it fast enough, but I got the right city. I just couldn't zoom in fast enough. It was Churchill, Manitoba. I've seen that coverage before. Um, when you see pure winter coverage like this, where the city just looks completely overrun by snow and you're almost driving on snow um, like this, it can either be very Nordic or it can be Churchill, basically. And I looked at my surroundings and I thought this didn't really look like Nunavut or any of the Northern Territories. So my gut said Churchill, uh, Manitoba, and I was correct which is awesome. It's a shame I couldn't click in the town itself because I would have got probably 4,900 plus points. But hey, great start to the video. Or, well, video, the last round. We're quite far into the video now, but uh, let's move on to round two. Eight. The round isn't loading. Oh, that's a shame. Oh, it is. Uh, uh, Photosphere, it's definitely summer. Could this ever be Norway? I got one second to click. That is ridiculous. It is not Norway. I did not have enough time. That was in Bulgaria, and it's now a Photosphere. The map said no Photospheres. Unfortunately, it seems like some of these locations have been overwritten since they were published, and that's probably why it took so long to load, but this is Bulgaria. No Street View image available. This was captured in June. There's no way to see more dates because this is a person who took a drone shot, but very, very beautiful location. I don't think I would have ever guessed Bulgaria. This seems to be a big water reservoir. Um, very, very cool. It's the Belmekan Reservoir. That's a tough round. Uh, I don't think that's really fair for this map and for my 10 seconds especially since it didn't load but i got that it was europe i got the general feeling now this could be bulgaria um could be bulgaria or it could be 
Yeah, okay, it is Bulgaria. I saw the flag. I was like, this could even be like Kyrgyzstan or something. But I saw no roof rack on the card. I thought it wasn't Mongolia. And this was actually in a very similar region of Bulgaria. Just down here uh, near Varvara. Very, very cool. So we got Bulgaria on back-to-back -back rounds. And we got it that time. So of the rounds that I was able to see, I was able to get quite a close guess. So we're going to move on to round four of 10 seconds. Uh, Eastern Europe. Quick look. Mono Zarovani. I'm going to... Yes, Slovakia. It, I think it might be Hungary now that I look at it. No, it was Czechia again. Okay, so it wasn't Slovakia, it was Czechia, but that's a very close guess. That's actually a better score than my last Bulgarian guess, so I'm getting the regions right pretty good right now. And like, okay, no, I'm not going to say anything. I'm not going to say anything until we finish this seed off, because uh, as you guys know, there's a certain trend in this channel with, uh, with the final games, but I'm not going to say a word. So we're going to move on to the final round here. It's real coverage. Norway, fi no, Switzerland? Switzerland, maybe. I'm gonna guess Switzerland. I think this might be Switzerland. Let's just go. I oh, I hope I'm right. It is Switzerland. I saw the house. I'll show you exactly why. I didn't even catch that it was low cam. I was trying. If you saw me panning around looking down, I tried to see if this was low cam. Um, which it, like I saw this blur, but I wasn't sure. But in hindsight, this is very clearly low camera. But this house here, it doesn't get more Swiss or more Alps than this. I should say. Um, this little chalet style. Oh yeah definitely definitely switzerland and looking at that with the low camera maybe it was a subconscious thing but uh i knew it had to be switzerland so all in all not my best score of the video on that round but i think if i had been able to look at that bulgaria round when it used to be winter coverage maybe i would have gotten it i'm not sure um that's a rough one but of the four that i actually had time to look at the round my best performance of the video by far and it's always that right that's what i was gonna say it's what i stopped myself i always do my best when I don't have to think, I just go in and I just react on what I see. And maybe that's um, maybe that's something I should take with me as I move further in GeoGuess or just go straight off my gut reaction. I'm sure it's not always going to pay off, but it sure seems to in the final rounds and videos like these. But that'll do it for this edition of uh, Road to Pro. If you enjoyed, leave a like, comment, subscribe to the GeoGoose channel. We really appreciate all your support and we hope it continues long into the future. I'm your host, GeoGoose. We'll catch you in the next one.